Heavily armed security forces storm one of Ecuador's most dangerous prisons to stop days of rioting. Inside the jail in Guayaquil City, police search inmate cells and uncover an arsenal of guns, including automatic weapons and ammunition. It's a growing challenge as gang rivalries escalate in prisons. This type of situation has turned into a national issue in Ecuador. It's not something that's limited to a single institution, but we've been able to intervene and reinstate order. At least 31 people were killed in this jail after a 60-day state of emergency was declared in all prisons. Ironically, that seemed to have set off widespread violence. More than 100 guards were freed after being held hostage in six jails across the country. Let it be clear to all the terrorists. They will be defeated. Anarchism will have no place in our society. The strength of the state of Ecuador will be felt inside the prisons and on the streets. This latest surge in prison violence comes ahead of the presidential election next month. Eight candidates are hoping to replace outgoing President Guillermo Lasso. His government has been widely blamed for violence as criminal groups fight to control routes to move illegal drugs. Violence in prisons appears to be reflecting insecurity in major cities. If you ask around, all the businesses report low income. Some have to pay a fee to criminal groups, so they'll be left alone. The insecurity is so high that at 8 o'clock at night, you don't see anyone on the street. Everything stops. Prisoners may be locked in, but many fear their power in Ecuador is extensive. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.